How do you create flawless experience in an online meeting? I have a tool for you. Hey everyone, it's Daria, welcome. Today we'll be creating an extremely engaging and easy to facilitate remote meeting using a great tool called sessions.us. So Sessions has reached out to me to see if their tool can be useful for you, my audience. I was very pleased with what I found on their website and I had a lot of fun trying it out, playing with different features and planning a workshop with it. And today I'll show you how to create an engaging webinar that you can use in a meetup or in a community of practice. It also integrates with Miro, so that's an automatic plus one for me. Not only that, it actually integrates with all of the most popular platforms to run interactive online sessions like Slido, Mentimeter, Pitch, Canva, Figma, Google Docs. Sessions also has a couple of interactive tools of their own. Anyway, I'd like to thank Sessions for sponsoring this video. We've got our first official sponsor, guys. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with the usual stuff of how to create an account or going through the pricing page, just to tell you that they have a pretty generous free plan. And instead, let's actually work on creating a workshop, a webinar, and going through it. So what separates sessions from other tools in the same space is that it allows you to create and follow an agenda using various tools at the same time and without the need to switch out to a different screen or even just having to share your screen. The tool does everything for you, you just need to get ready. And it also becomes a seamless experience for the participants because they also don't need to go anywhere else apart from the sessions window. But for this video, I decided to recreate my retrospectives that matter webinar because it's a perfect example where this tool really shines. And if you've never been to my retrospectives that matter webinar, well, it's your lucky day. First, let's actually go over and start the webinar and see what it looks like from the facilitator and from the participant point of view. And I'm going to add an agenda right here on clicking the share button at the bottom. And we have the retrospectives that matter agenda that I have pre-created in advance. I can easily share the sessions link right here. So I can copy the link and I'm going to open it in the incognito tab to pretend as if there is another participant. So here I am in the facilitators tab. And as you can see, it says you. The first thing we do here is we are starting with introduction. So it's been two minutes that I launched this sessions. And that is why it's been counting for two minutes now. And if I have a general idea of how much time I want to spend in this section, well, that can give me immediately an idea of how much time I still have left. That allows you to stay on track and stay on time if it's important in your session. So here I am as a participant. I changed my camera right here in the middle to say that I am representing this violet part. So it's you as a participant. And as you can see on the left hand side, as a participant, I can see the agenda, but I cannot change it. So I cannot just r jump into the next agenda item, but it gives me an idea of what is to come, which is pretty neat overall. So let's go back to the facilitator view. I'm back into the facilitator view. And now we can go to the next agenda item. And this is impromptu networking. As you can see, I say spend four minutes in small groups to introduce yourself and share what you do and why you're here. This is a quick networking exercise and we obviously need some breakout rooms and don't we love our breakout rooms and sessions allows us to do that. So I can move people around or I can auto assign them into groups and I can create separate several rooms if I need to. For example, if I have many more people, but because it's just the two of us, but let's just kind of start and try it out. I'm going to move this participant here. And as you can see, 10 seconds left, it's going to 
count down to that part and I will be able to join the participant in this room. And this is the view of the participant. So I have been put in a breakout room and I'm all alone here, but if we had more people, then obviously we will be able to speak with the person, see the other person in here. As a host, I can also join in the room to maybe say hi to the participants and just to make sure everybody is there and I can jump from one room to the other. Let's go to the main room and actually stop the breakout rooms. So I'm going to unassign everyone and everybody is going to come back. Let me open up our agenda again. So we've spent some time on this impromptu networking here and now we can go to our next agenda item, which is the purpose of the retrospective. And this is where I will be showing just some presentation. Just to show you that I have not added the file that I want to present in here in advance, but I can do it right now. I'm going to share a file right here and I'm going to upload it. This is my presentation and I'm the facilitator and I'm able to just kind of move around. So I can go and continue to go through all of my presentation slides and talk through them, kind of showing what I have here stages of the retrospectives, et cetera, et cetera. Let's actually see what the participants see. So here I am as a participant, as you can see, I cannot click on the agenda item, I cannot change the page, but I see exactly the same slide that the presenter is showing. And here's the thing, I didn't need to go anywhere. I still am in the same window and it's very easy. It's already appearing in the same space. So it's easy to follow through with the content that is being shown to me. Okay, the next one is my favorite. Let's go back to our facilitator. Here we go. And we're going to see how to use Miro with the sessions. As you can see here, once again, I did not add anything, but let's actually edit this agenda and add our link to Miro. So we're going to add a Miro board that I have already created and shared. And for that, we're going to embed a tool once again, the same way we did it previously. And as you can see, there are so many different tools that you can add, but we're going to go for Miro. And now that we're here, I can actually look for the information right here and I'm going to use this template that I have created. So it connects immediately to your account and here you go. I have created this, prepared this exercise to do a little brainstorming part for our webinar where I want to collect ideas from all of the people. Now, when I was running this last times with using different tools, I remember that it was very difficult to actually get high participation rate just because I would need to give people a link to go to. And it means that it adds an extra click for people. And then sometimes they have maybe the website blocked. And that's why I didn't have a very high participation rate during that time. But here's what's, what is happening actually in sessions. I have added this board. This is my facilitator view. This is the participant view, as you can see. And I am right here at the same time. As you can see, I cannot move around the agenda, but I can start using the board right here. I can add the sticky notes right here. I do not need to click anywhere. It's already right in the same space, which means that the participation is going to be much, much higher just because people already have access inside of the same window. They don't need to go anywhere. Another great thing is that I am not sharing a link with, to anyone. This, once I go away from the screen, no one will have access to my mirror board, which means I know that I don't need to hide a board anymore or I don't need to be wary of any privacy issues because I only use it inside of sessions. And we're back to our facilitator view right here. And we can see that all of the items that have been added by our participants are here. And obviously we can add our own that are easily added into the same board and our participants can see that's the magic of Miro plus sessions. One more thing I wanted to add in here is a YouTube video. Say we're going through this, we have a discussion around this topic, and now I want to show something to people. And you know, if we're usually adding a YouTube video and we're trying to share a screen, the, there are so many problems that are associated with that where the sound is being choppy 
or people cannot hear. You need to make sure that everything is actually working. And then it doesn't look like a very seamless experience. And people generally have trouble following through with the video. To have this YouTube video appear here, I'm going to add one more agenda item. I'm going to edit my agenda once again, and I'm going to add a new item. Let's call it uh, watch a video. And we're going to share something right here. So I'm going to embed a tool, which is going to be YouTube. And I'm going to share my link where I talk about retrospectives. So I have added the, this thing. I'm going to embed this, this resource and I'm going to update the agenda and we're good to go. Now I can move on to the next item. And here I have the video. It is starting right away. We can start and everybody sees the same. So let's go back to the view of a participant. Seamless, because you can see immediately the video, it is playing. I cannot stop it where I cannot jump to any part of the video because who it has control? Well, the facilitator. Here I'm back to the facilitator screen and say we have watched the video, the part that I wanted everyone to see. It was seamless, no one needed to click anywhere and everybody has exactly the same experience with the video. Let's go back to the last part of this workshop or this webinar. And this one is a key takeaway exercise. And this is a native tool to sessions where you can create a short form of questions for people and we can put it in here. So we are on the last takeaway. And as a facilitator, I can also participate. This is a setting that I have chosen. Going back to our participant, they have the same view and they can add information right here. So what is one key takeaway for you from this webinar? And it was awesome. I'm going to give it five stars and we're going to submit. And as you can see, we immediately see the results that are coming from others. We can make those results anonymous as well, but what is really cool is that we can actually see all of the people who have completed. We can see the results right here and we can easily save them. And then we can go back to a simple screen. I'm going to use introductions and this kind of shows how easy it is and seamless it is to go through each step, create your agenda and then reuse it whenever you need to. I think there are lots of things that Sessions actually solves for us, more specifically that it definitely can increase the engagement just because of how easy it is to jump from one part of this presentation to the other and participate, view videos all together and really make sure that everybody who is in your webinar is on the same page. Well, what do you think? That's all I wanted to show in this video to walk you through this tool and to show how you can use it for a flawless meeting. More specifically, I think that can be absolutely amazing for meetup webinars, for online conferences, and for communities of practice events. With sessions, you can create much more engaging remote meetings that are very easy to follow and don't require your participants to jump from window to window. Just that is a game changer. Should I do a webinar for you using this tool? What do you think? Share in the comments below. Once again, thank you Sessions for sponsoring this video. I'm glad that I got to discover this tool thanks to this partnership. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers and scrum on.